Some of us like a large collection of boxes to compose a stereo setup from. Others don't even want to see a single piece of equipment in the room. If this paints the picture of your marriage and if you still want to decent quality music reproduction, the NAD C368 might be the answer. Don't get me wrong, this NAD has the same dimensions as other amps but it has slots on the rear that can hold the Blue OS streaming module that also does MQA decoding. NAD introduced a modular design construction, MDC for short, in 2006 and when they did I thought it would never last. But it did and now a range of amplifiers and receivers come with one or more MDC slots. A second MDC module offers three HDMI inputs and one HDMI pass-through. This board works up to 1080p. The third option is a USB input for playing music from your computer directly. The review sample was fitted with the Blue OS module on my request. This module not only provides you with the Blue OS streamer, but like all Blue OS streamers it also functions as a Rune endpoint and MQA decoder. Time for a closer look. The front is kept simple, the way I like it. Most people will operate the amp using the remote control, so why a myriad of buttons on the front? Left we see the standby button, a 4-way navigator with a selection button in the center and further to the right the quarter inch headphone jack socket. The color display in the middle can be used for settings while in normal operation it shows what is playing. It displays the source and when using the Blue OS module it even shows the name of the song and artist. When the volume control is operated the volume setting is shown. The characters are big enough for normal operation, only for setting up you might prefer to be close up. To the right two source selectors are located that step through the available inputs. The large volume control on the right completes the tour of the front. Time to switch to the rear. On the right we see the IEC power inlet with fuse and power switch. Further to the left two times four binding posts for connecting the speakers. When two pairs of speakers are used these should have a minimum impedance of 8 ohms. If you only use one pair you could go as low as 4 ohms. Then there is an RS232 sub D connector for those that use the luxury AMX or Creston remotes. NAD is a certified partner of both companies. A ground terminal, a Bluetooth antenna socket and a USB socket for service purposes are all found above the audio inputs. These are two times optical in, two times SPDIF in, one moving magnet phono input, two line inputs and a pair of pre-outs that double as subwoofer outputs. For linking infrared signals with other components there are an input and an output. Next to it a trigger output and input. You can have the amp switch on automatically by another device or have the amp switch on another device. A small switch enables a bridge mode making the power amp mono at double the power. This is when you want to use an extra power amp to get a really powerful system. That external power amp then can be switched on by the 12 volt trigger I mentioned before. On the left there are two slots. Here one of them is filled with the Blue OS streaming module. Let's get inside. To the trained eye it is immediately clear modern techniques are used. Techniques that are not in the first place considered to be audiophile. Now bear with me, I mention this to make a point. For this DAC an amp combo does sound excellent in its class. Let me start with the power supply, which is a switching mode power supply, hence no big transformer. When we go to the crowded main PCB we see a DAC on a piggyback PCB quite close to the Bluetooth radio. That's not the preferred way, unless you make it work. Then to the power amp. This is a bespoke OEM module using the UCD technology by the Dutch company Hypex Electronics. This is often called a digital amp but that's incorrect. It is an analog class D amp that works roughly like the switching power supply. 
both the switching power supply and the class D power amp are highly efficient. As where normal class A B amps have an efficiency of 50 to 70 percent, so 30 to 50 percent of the power fed to the amp is converted in predominantly heat, a class A even converts 65 to 85 percent into heat. Class D amps only lose about 10 percent to heat. About the same goes for linear power supplies versus switching mode power supplies, 70 to 85 percent versus 40 to 60 percent. And in standby it only consumes half a watt, so the C368 is very environmentally friendly. The Blue OS app is available for all popular operating systems, Android, iOS, Mac OS and Windows. It is one of the better systems around and for me it beats any UPnP and DNA implementation. Over time it even got at least as good as the Sonos software, so there is no longer an excuse not to go for the better sound quality the Blue OS systems offer. As said, the C368 was fitted with the optional Blue OS streaming module that also does MQA decoding and can function as a Rune endpoint. It also adds APTX Bluetooth decoder to it. A Bluetooth antenna comes with the board. Wi-Fi can be added using the included dongle. The board is priced at 499 euros and simply slides into one of the two slots on the rear. When fitted you can set it up using the controls and menu using the display on the front. The remote control is prepared for use with the Blue OS module. If you want to know more about Blue OS see the Blue Sound Note 2 updates 2016-11. A link is in the show notes. NAD has a long standing reputation for building very good sounding, affordable amplifiers. But I must confess I stayed away from their class D products for a while. I can do only so many reviews and try to select those products that might be of great interest to you. That of course always is an educated guess. As I mentioned in an earlier video and as Seneca said back in the time of Christ, Errare humanum est, perseverare diabolicum. To err is human, to persist is devilish. So good experiences with the DIY Hypex kit, comments from others plus the Blue OS option made me de decide to review the C368 and rightly so. This amp proves clearly that it's not the technology used that makes a good or a bad product but the way it is implemented. I started with replacing the Marantz in my setup too with the NID. The first thing I noticed was the spacious yet precise stereo image. The sound was completely free from the speakers as it should be. The second thing I noticed was less surprising, a very good controlled low end, something class D amps are known for. The mid range coloration early class D amps were known for is completely absent here. Actually it sounds more like the little NAD amp in my setup 3 but then more spacious and powerful. Compared to the Marantz KI Lite the sound is somewhat more upfront and dynamic. This is not a quality that makes the NAD better, it's just a difference in sound. I would rate both amps in the same class, the Marantz being only an amp, so without the onboard DAC. Placing the NAD in my setup 1 showed why NAD has more expensive amplifiers in their pro program 2. Comparing it to the 5 times more expensive and modified Audio Note Soro SE is unfair and unjust. Having said that, the power was there to control the 4 woofers in each Audio Physics Scorpio speakers. It's just that the refinement is not met. So the right place for the C368 is in my setup 2 and rightly so. There it performs excellent and musically. Choosing audio products, or any product for that matter, is personal. I like the underwhelming grey fascia of the NAD products, their build quality and in most cases their sound. The C368 confirms why that is. The front is modest the build quality is excellent and the sound is dynamic and powerful yet civilized and spacious. The reason to review this amp 
the Blue OS streaming module did just what it's supposed to do and did it as an integral part of the amp. So you can change the volume of the amp using the volume control on the front, on the infrared remote, but also in the app you use to select the music, whether you use Blue OS proprietary app or Room. We live in exciting times and believe me when I say that digital audio technology has gone through a phase of rapid development. The NAD C368 being the proof of that. So stay informed by subscribing to this channel or to my newsletter or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question, post it below this video but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my about questions video to find out why. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. Just one dollar a month will do. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.